Our next settings menu is going to be media. So we'll click media under settings. And you can see this is where we can configure our predetermined image sizes that we can insert into our posts and pages. Now, before we edit anything here, I wanna go over to the post editor and show you what the actual effect of this is going to be. So I've created a little post here and I'm gonna add an image. We'll just add this cat that I uploaded before. And you can see over here on the right hand side, the image size is large. So we've got full size, large, medium, and thumbnail. Full size obviously is going to be the actual image that you uploaded. It's not gonna be sized down at all. Large is going to be a maximum of 1,024 pixels on either side. So the way it's gonna be scaled is that the longer side is gonna be scaled down to 1,024 and it's gonna maintain the aspect ratio. So the other side is just gonna be scaled down to you know, whatever that equivalent is. So we've inserted the large size here, which is a maximum of 1024 pixels. And you can see in practice, in this post, in this particular theme, it's essentially full width. If we change the size to medium, you can see it's considerably smaller. We'll preview again. That's what it looks like. That size, the medium size, is a maximum of 300. Finally, we have thumbnail. Thumbnail is a little bit different. It scales it a little bit differently by default. So you can see, I'm not getting my whole image here. It actually cropped my image down to a perfect 150 by 150 square. I don't actually like that. Uh, personally, I would prefer that it behave the same as the medium and large size, where it just scales it down, maintaining the aspect ratio instead of cropping. So that's what this checkbox is. Crop thumbnail to exact dimensions. Normally thumbnails are proportional. That is checked by default, so I'm going to uncheck that. And now when I insert an image using the thumbnail size, it'll behave the same as the medium and large size, where it just scales the larger side down to 150 pixels and maintains the aspect ratio with the other side. So it doesn't crop anything, and that's just my preference. Now, you can also change these sizes to anything you want. You can choose the maximum width and the maximum height for any of these so that when you insert images and you use these sizes, they display in a predictable way that works with your design and your style. Finally, at the bottom, you can choose whether you wanna organize your uploads into month and year-based folders. That just has to do with how your actual media files are organized on the server. I would leave that as is unless you have a specific reason to change it.